Welcome, dear viewers, as we embark on an intriguing journey into the human brain, the seat of our consciousness. This complex and sophisticated organ, a marvel of nature, is the maestro conducting the symphony of our thoughts, our emotions, our memories, and our very sense of self. It's a journey into the heart of mystery and wonder, where the most profound questions about who we are and how we experience the world are formulated and explored. The human brain, a three-pound mass of jelly-like substance, is considered the most complex object in the known universe. With its estimated 100 billion neurons and 100 trillion connections, it's a universe unto itself. An intricate network of electrical and chemical signals that give rise to our every thought, feeling, and action. Understanding this marvelous organ is not merely an academic exercise. It's a quest that holds the keys to unlocking the secrets of human behavior and experience. It's a journey that can help us comprehend why we love, why we laugh, why we dream, and why we sometimes act in ways that baffle even ourselves. We'll delve into the fascinating structure of the brain from the intricate folds of the cortex, the seat of higher cognitive functions, to the deep recesses of the hippocampus and amygdala, the centers of memory and emotion. We'll explore how these distinct regions, though separated by miles of neural wiring, work together in harmonious concert to produce the rich tapestry of human consciousness. What is consciousness? Is it a byproduct of the brain's electrical activity? Or does it arise from something deeper? Something yet to be discovered? These are questions that have puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries, and we'll dive into the various theories that seek to answer them. So, brace yourselves as we delve deeper into this fascinating organ and unravel its secrets. Welcome to a journey of discovery, a journey into the human brain, the most mysterious and captivating frontier of scientific exploration. The human brain, an architectural marvel, houses several regions, each with its unique function. Much like a city with its neighborhoods, each playing a different yet critical role, the brain is a bustling metropolis of neurons and synapses. Let's take a stroll down the lanes of this city, starting with the cortex. Often referred to as the brain's command center, the cortex is responsible for higher cognitive functions. It's the CEO, the decision maker, the big boss. It's involved in functions like perception, thought, memory, and decision making. It's the cortex that lets you appreciate a beautiful sunset solve a tricky math problem, or remember the lyrics to your favorite song. Next, we delve into the heart of the city, the hippocampus. If the cortex is the CEO, the hippocampus is the chief librarian. It's our memory center, storing and retrieving memories at a moment's notice. It's the reason you can recall the taste of your grandmother's apple pie or the smell of the first rain. Now, let's venture into the city's emotional hub, the amygdala. Much like a drama director, the amygdala is responsible for our emotional responses. It triggers the butterflies in your stomach before a big presentation, the lump in your throat when you watch a tear-jerking movie, and the surge of anger when you face injustice. These regions, along with several others, form a well-coordinated network, each contributing its bit to the grand scheme of things. Imagine an orchestra with the cortex as the conductor, the hippocampus as the violinist playing the melody of memory, and the amygdala as the drummer setting the emotional tone. But it's not just about individual performances. It's about how they all come together, how they harmonize. Each region, each neuron, each synapse plays a part. And the result is a symphony, a symphony of consciousness, a symphony of you. These regions working in harmony orchestrate the symphony of our conscious experience. Now, imagine a world inside your head, a world of thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Welcome to your consciousness. Consciousness is a fascinating concept. It is this unique and subjective awareness of the world around us and our place within it. It's not something you can touch or see, but it's as real as the air we breathe. It's our thoughts, our feelings, our sense of self. But where does it come from? What brings this consciousness to life? Scientists have been trying to unravel this mystery for centuries. 
Some believe consciousness is a byproduct of brain activity, while others argue it's an intrinsic property of the universe, much like space and time. These theories, though vastly different, highlight the complexity and enigma that is consciousness. But how does our brain play into this? Well, our consciousness and our brain are closely intertwined. Research has shown that different areas of the brain light up when we engage in conscious thought. These areas are like the control centers of our consciousness, orchestrating our thoughts, our emotions, our experiences. Take, for instance, a study led by neuroscientists at the University of California, Berkeley. They discovered that the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and problem-solving, becomes more active when we're conscious. This suggests that our consciousness might be tied to the functioning of specific regions in our brain. Another fascinating experiment from the Max Planck Institute found that brain activity patterns could predict conscious decisions several seconds before the person was aware of making the decision. This finding challenges the very notion of free will and further underscores the enigmatic nature of consciousness. Yet despite these advances, we're still far from fully understanding consciousness. It's like trying to grasp the wind, elusive and ever-changing. But each new discovery, each new insight, brings us one step closer to understanding this enigma within us. Consciousness, as we see, is not just a byproduct of brain activity, but a complex and enigmatic phenomenon in itself. Not all consciousness is created equal. Sometimes, it takes us beyond the ordinary into realms of the extraordinary. Consider lucid dreaming, an intriguing phenomenon where dreamers become aware they are dreaming and can even control their dream scenarios. This state challenges our conventional understanding of dreams as passive experiences. Instead, lucid dreaming thrusts the dreamer into a unique conscious state where the laws of reality are suspended and the fantastical becomes possible. But lucid dreaming is just one example. There are other altered states of consciousness that are equally fascinating. Take hypnosis, for instance. Despite its popular depiction as a form of mind control, hypnosis is actually a state of deep relaxation and heightened suggestibility. It's like a mental shortcut to the subconscious, bypassing the conscious mind's filters and defenses. This state has been used therapeutically to treat conditions ranging from chronic pain to anxiety disorders, demonstrating the power of our mind to influence our body's responses. Even more mysterious are near-death experiences or NDEs. These are profound psychological events that occur in individuals close to death or in situations of intense physical or emotional danger. Reports of NDEs often include elements such as feeling detached from the body, moving through a dark tunnel, encountering spiritual beings, and a sense of peace or joy. These experiences, despite their subjective nature, have a striking similarity across cultures, suggesting a common underlying neurological mechanism. But what do these altered states of consciousness tell us? They highlight the brain's remarkable flexibility and adaptability, its ability to generate a wide spectrum of conscious experiences. They also challenge our conventional understanding of what it means to be conscious, pushing us to reconsider the boundaries of our own awareness. These extraordinary experiences remind us that the realm of consciousness is far more vast and mysterious than we can imagine. Understanding consciousness has profound implications not just for us as individuals but for society at large. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of the mind, we begin to see how the ripples of understanding consciousness can transform diverse fields. Take artificial intelligence, for instance. By comprehending the intricacies of human consciousness, we can engineer machines that not only mimic human behavior, but also resonate with our cognitive and emotional nuances. Picture a world where your digital assistant not only schedules your meetings, but also senses your mood and adjusts its responses accordingly. That's the power of infusing consciousness into AI. Now let's consider medicine. 
Insights into the human mind can revolutionize treatments for mental health disorders. Imagine a future where we can accurately map the ebb and flow of consciousness in patients with disorders like schizophrenia or depression. This could lead to targeted therapies that effectively restore balance to their conscious experiences. The potential to alleviate human suffering is immense. And then there's the realm of ethics. As we understand more about consciousness, we're compelled to reconsider our moral and ethical frameworks. Consciousness studies could reshape our views on animal rights, for instance. If we find that certain animals have a level of consciousness comparable to ours, doesn't that call for re-evaluation of their ethical treatment? Lastly, it's worth pondering over the potential of consciousness studies to impact our understanding of human rights. If we can quantify consciousness, could we then use it as a basis for ensuring equal rights and opportunities? It's a tantalizing prospect indeed. In essence, peering into the depths of consciousness is like opening Pandora's box. It presents a world of possibilities, challenges, and questions that can alter the course of humanity. As we unravel the mysteries of the mind, we step closer to harnessing the full potential of the human brain, shaping a future that's as fascinating as the organ that envisions it. Stay curious, dear viewers.